So, you want to make an animated sprite in a sprite. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in a sprite once again, taking a look at how to create an animated uh, game character sprite, I suppose. So, I'm going to create our character. I'm going to create just like a, a, a big head here. We're just going to draw a circle for the head there. Um, not worry about filling anything in for, for the time being. And I'm kind of going to create a little bit of a weird like a weird upside down pear shape because I want this character to be like a hero so he's gonna be kinda kinda standing up tall and poking his chest out maybe a little bit I'm going to uh, go and erase that little piece and hit B on my keyboard to go back to the brush alright so I'm gonna hit G we can fill those those two pieces in so we kinda get a feel for what's going on right now um, I want his legs to kinda be a little stubby so we're gonna go and we're going to um, draw some legs down like that maybe go backwards a little bit something like that I suppose that looks pretty good um, I want that to be a bit thinner be maybe that one yeah that looks better uh yeah sure okay why not um so after that i kind of want to just refine this little this little piece of his body right here before we move on to the arms uh that's pretty good i like that maybe we should go down with his head just like that yeah i think i like that all right so we're going to oh, no that's the wrong button we're going to uh add in his arms now and his arms are kind of going to come down like this and just uh wrap down a little bit maybe something like uh like that looks pretty good and his other his other arm is just going to be like a little bit of a nub for his hand that we're going to see poking out of his uh, of his torso right there. So that was pretty good for our start uh, base of our character. I'm going to go and I'm going to add in the colors now. So I'm going to choose a, a skin like color, something about right there, I suppose maybe. And uh, we'll we'll fill in his head right there. That's his head. And uh, I want him to have uh, short sleeves on. Oops, short sleeves on. So I want to kind of have his arm go up to there. We'll hit G to bucket fill that, B to go back to the brush, I'll color his, his little hand there, and his pants, his pants can stay the color that they are, and we'll change his shirt to like uh, green, yeah why not, we'll do a green, we'll hit G to bucket fill that and color that in as well, that's an ugly green, let's uh, let's change that, looks better, alright, uh, wait, maybe this needs to be a bit lighter, I think everything's just a bit too dark by the way, so maybe we'll go ahead and we'll lighten everything up a bit in the pants too, because it was a bit too dark. Maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah, why not? All right, so uh, that was pretty good. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to move into the animation stage. I want to kind of get all this down first. I want to get all this down so we don't have to change it frame by frame later on. So I think that looks pretty good. I want to add in his eyebrows right now. We'll add in eyebrows. Maybe something about... Nope. B. B. And we'll add in eyebrows. Maybe something like that. And we'll add in a little bit of the eye right there. Uh, maybe his eye should be like solid black. Yeah, why not? Maybe he won't have eyebrows. <laughs> Maybe he won't have eyebrows at all. Okay. Yeah, why not? Okay, that's pretty good. So, we can move on to the animation stage now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead down here and duplicate these frames. So, I'm going to hit this little plus button and duplicate him all the way out to like frame... Eh, 10 is probably too much, but we'll do that for now. Uh, I want to move his eyes up a little bit. Uh, eh, you know, it's fine the way it is. Alright, so, I want to grab this uh, this little marquee rectangular tool. Is what it says right there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is... Uh, make sure that's hit, that's on play so I can see what's going on there. I'm going to grab the second frame here, and I'm going to kind of make him go up and down on like this this, this idle this idle pose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his entire torso all the way up to his pants and his arm right there, and make sure you grab this uh, little piece right there as well. So I'm going to I'm going to select all that. And I'm going to push that down by one pixel, just like that. And on the third frame, I'm going to take all that, and then I'm going to down everything, including the top of his pants. So now we have the first frame, the second, oops, the first frame, we have to deselect that, I'm just going to move. Uh, the first frame, the second frame, and the third frame. So that's right there. So let's move this up for the third frame, because that got a little messed up there for some reason. Uh, let's do that again. The second frame should be up here, and this little piece of his uh, pants should not have moved yet. So we're going to do that. So, first frame right there, and we're going to grab just, we're going to grab just his torso, and this piece right here. Maybe we'll go down like that in the first one, and on the second one, we'll go down one more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so now on the first frame, we have his, his uh, beginning stance, he goes down one, and goes down two. What I want to do is on the second frame here, I want to leave, on the third frame, I want to leave his arms up the way they were in the second frame. So on the third frame, I want to pull his arms back up, about right there, something like that. So now this looks like this. He goes down, his arms don't move, and when he pops back up, I want to pull it all down one. And that looks pretty good. 
pretty good so far. I want to, if you look over here on the right-hand side, I kind of want to get that free-flowing kind of bounce that uh, pixel art characters always have. So then that's, that's pretty good so far. I don't want his arm to be that idle the entire time, so I'm going to kind of move his little shoulder piece down right here. And maybe we'll get rid of that little piece up there. Because I don't like the way that looks, that little piece right there. And maybe... Yeah, okay. And then right right on the third frame, I want to get rid of that piece right there. Kind of make his arm go down a little bit more. And uh, instead of getting rid of that, you know what we'll do? We'll just pull it down. Um, so on the third frame, I think it was, we'll pull his we'll pull his entire colored part of his arm down somewhere about right there. We'll pull that down and we'll fill in the gaps. Hitting I to eye drop the color of green. I kind of like the way it looks, but I want it to bounce back up a little bit more. So on the fifth frame, we will grab the box select tool and we'll pull that up like that and make sure we grab this one as well. I want his arms to move in sync. I think what I want to do here is I want to grab his head as well. So when he goes down on the third frame, I want his head to pop down. And then on the, on the fourth frame, I want it to still kind of be down. And then on the fifth frame, it'll pop back up to where it was. And maybe it'll even pop up higher than it's supposed to be on the fifth frame. And then it'll come back down on the sixth frame. Just... uh something like that and then it'll go like uh, and we'll pull all of that down yeah and now we have this weird little hard edge so we'll get rid of that right there and so I'm, I'm, I'm being pretty, pretty quiet right now but I'm just trying to get that animation as fluid as possible right there kinda want that, that, that bouncing that bouncing kind of motion. Now I want to bend his legs just a little bit because it looks a bit awkward. He's not really bending. So on the, the lowest frame, which is frame three, I want oop, I want to grab the marquee tool, or the marquee tool, the box select tool, and I'll pull that down like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And what I want to do is I also want to move his leg back if I could do that. Maybe look, maybe it might look too big, but I want to move his leg back a little bit. Eh. Looks a bit weird. You see how it pops like that? I don't want it to look like it's popping. So we'll get rid of that and we'll leave that there because his foot wouldn't move anyway. I just kind of wanted it to be a little less stationary. But I guess it's an idle pose. So, you know. Um, and then what we'll do is I think he's going to end this idle pose on frame 9. So we'll delete frame 10 and frame 9. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll delete t frame uh, 10 and 9. So we'll go all the way up to frame 8. I think that looks pretty good. What we can do is, if you don't want his head to be actually disconnected, we can actually take uh, that skin color right there, and we'll just drag that color down a little bit, and then we'll just cre create a bit of a neck for him right there. And then instead of his his head being disconnected, it'll kind of just like pop out a neck. Um, so I kind of like that. I kind of like the disconnected head as well, but I like that as well. I like that too. So what we'll do is, I, th I think that looks pretty good. I'm not going to do shading in this video. It's just for the animation part. Um, so I think that's going to be it right there. It's pretty simple. I love doing idle animations. What I want to do really quickly is I want to kind of disconnect. I kind of want to create a bit of separation between his his bicep and his and his uh, elbow because it's it's looking a bit like his arm is just one piece. Um, so on frame five, I'm gonna nope, not with that shirt piece. In frame 5, I want to kind of rotate his arm a little bit, which might look a bit weird before we fix it. Um, and oop, move it over one, move it over one, and get rid of that little piece right there, and maybe that one, and we'll eye drop that color, bring it down a little bit. I think that's just the same arm we just recreated. Uh, I don't want to really, really ro rotate it because it looks a bit strange, so we'll leave it like that, but at least we have that little bit of a bend there now. Um, on frame 3 right there. And I kind of want to stretch it on frame 5. So on frame 5, we'll pull it down. This is the last thing I want to do. And we will color that piece in. Yeah, I like that. So, uh, that is going to be it for this animated sprite tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you learned something new about animation. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye.